Hello girls and squirrels, happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Christina Sherilyn and I'm a vintage reseller, which means I rummage through people's unwanted items and find the most amazing vintage pieces to give them a second chance. I love styling up vintage clothing in a modern way, investigating the history of each piece, and most of all, I love the treasure hunt. So follow along on my journey and let's see what we can find. So as you guys know, here in Georgia, all of our thrift stores are reopened. So I've been going thrifting a lot lately and I have another thrift haul for you guys. So I have a lot of vintage goodies that I can't wait to show you guys. I also got a couple of new items too for myself. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. So let's start with what's on my body. This beautiful crushed velvet leopard duster cardigan. How many keywords can I use in one sentence? You can tell I'm a reseller. <laughs> It's very over the top, I'm aware. It's it's very extreme, but I actually really love it, especially paired with like a plain tee like this or a graphic tee. I think it just makes it look very bohemian and very extra, which I love. So I am keeping this bad boy for myself. It is a newer piece. Looks like it probably came from a place like Shein or something like that, but I really like it and I'm excited to have it in my wardrobe. So next item is a pair of shoes that I got for myself and I may or may not be keeping them. They are newer, they're by the brand DBDK Fashion. Not sure where that's from. Probably like Payless or Ross or something like that. It's this really cute pair of like blush pink cowgirl boots, I guess, Western, Bohemian, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and I just love the style of them and the color. They're just very unique. I do really love these. They are a tad bit too big on me. They're a size eight and a half, but they run on the big side. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not uh, because you can't wear socks with them, obviously, because you know, it has holes. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these or keep these, but I thought I would include them in the haul regardless. All right, so moving on to home decor, I only got three pieces of home decor. Technically there's multiple pieces, but three sets of things. Okay, I'll show you. All right, so first home decor items are these little candlestick holders with the little handles on them. Somebody told me what these were called and I can't remember right off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen what this specific style is called, but there's two of them. This is a little loose. Oh no, it's not. I'm crazy. <laughs> they just need to be clean. There's some candle wax on this one, uh, but I thought it was cool that there was two of them and they were so big. These are kind of hard to find in thrift stores. So I was really excited to come across these and these will be up on Poshmark. All right, so next home decor item is this record. It is a Walt Disney record. It's called Walt Disney's Merriest Songs and it's from 1968. It does have the record inside. It's a bit scratched up, but I just thought it was cool that it has the Disneyland logo on it. People really love this font and collect things with the Disneyland logo. So I thought even if someone just framed this, the cover art is so beautiful. And again, the record is really cool looking as well. I just couldn't leave it behind. Like, look at the cover art. It's so cool. And there's so many different characters in there. Mary Poppins is even in there. Like, it's just awesome. Um, and then these are the people that are featured on the record, which is so cool. They're not going for much online. I think I've seen a few on eBay go for like 15 to $20. So nothing crazy, but it's just one of those things that I couldn't leave behind because it was just so cool. Alrighty, so next I'm gonna break this thing. Next item we have is a bunch of items. So this really stumped me. Let me rearrange this. Okay, now that I've got it rearranged and upright like a civilized person, this really stumped me. This is actually an Arabic brass uh, teapot set. Um, what I thought was a set, it's actually not. My sister and I did so much research for like hours and hours and hours and we couldn't figure out why there was one big one and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven small ones around it and then it came on this tray as well. Come to find out they're in coupling. So like these three go together and then there's two and two. So it's a group of three little teapots two teapots, two teapots, and then the bigger teapot and or coffee pot. The bigger one may be a coffee pot, but we did so much research on this. And there are like sets like this, um, like the bigger coffee sets that go for like hundreds and thousands of dollars. So I wanted to make sure 
what I actually had before I tried to sell it or separate it or whatnot. So we finally did come to the conclusion that it was somebody's collection. Somebody went around collecting these little teapots and just had them all in a set and ended up donating their collection with this tray. So um, the cool thing about this tray is it doesn't necessarily go with these, but it has these really cool little camels around it and I've seen this tray on eBay go for $65. So just the tray alone is well worth what I paid for this entire set. What I'm gonna end up doing is separating it um, and lotting the ones that go together and then sell the tray and the bigger one by itself. I just thought this was a really cool find. It's funny because we actually found two of the bigger ones. They were a little lesser quality though, and they had been broken and welded back together. We found them at another Goodwill down the street. The shape of them is just really unique and I love the aesthetic of them. So it was really hard for me to leave those two behind. So then when we were at the Salvation Army down the street, and my sister found this entire set. I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. This is amazing. This is so awesome. And you guys know I love brass. So I'm really, really excited to get these listed. All right, so moving on to clothing. This first item I may or may not be keeping for myself. It is new with tags. Um, it is this brand. I can't ever pronounce this brand, uh, but it's sold at Urban Outfitters. Again, new with tags. I think it retailed for like $80. Um, it's super cute. I just don't know that I'll ever actually wear it. Um, it was kind of an impulse buy, so I may be putting this up on Poshmark. Um, it is a size large. This would be super cute with like a just plain black bralette underneath. I think it's adorable. I really love this style, like the sheer netting with the embroidery on it. But again, I just don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it. So this may be on Poshmark. If you want this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll sell it to you. All right, next up we have this little cami. I just thought that it was so dainty and so beautiful. Look at that button detail at the top, just so delicate. And this whole front panel is lace and obviously see-through, but you could put a tank top underneath or a bralette, whatever you wanna put underneath. It does have a spot on it where the lace um, has kind of come down a little bit, but I'm just gonna cut um, what has already come off and then fabric glue to reinforce the lace so it doesn't continue to do that. Uh, but I just thought this piece was just so pretty and so dainty, I could not pass it up. It is Vintage Vanity Fair and it is a size 34. I tried it on, it's a little tight, so I would say it fits like a modern day size small. I've had a hair on my nose this entire time, why didn't you guys tell me? Um, next up is this little polka dot blouse. It's pink with black polka dots and it's just got this button front. It is in amazing, perfect condition. I just thought it would be really cute tucked into high-waisted pair of shorts or jeans this summer. It is a size four. This next top I really love, not only because it's very like minimalist and very boxy fit. It also looks like it's linen, but it's not linen. It's actually 100% cotton. Um, and I just love the style of this. Um, it's very safari-esque. Safari utility is very in right now for the summer. It does have a little stain on the collar right there, but I can definitely get that out and it was half off so I couldn't pass it up. It is a size small. It's got this little tie in the back. If you wanted to tie it, it's from the 90s. So the most 90s shirts have this little tie in the back um, or you could cut them off if you don't want them there anymore. But I just thought this was a really cute summer top. Next item is technically a nightgown, um, but I just love the rosette detail on it, this neck line it's just very very 50s and I thought it was super cute it's kind of short so like you could wear it as a dress I just hit myself in the face with the hanger um, you could wear it as a dress if you were a little bit more petite and shorter than I am I'm 5'8 so this is like showing way too much um, <laughs> but I envision this just tucked into some jeans and worn as a top but I just couldn't resist this neckline. Look at that and the little rosette detail. It's just so pretty. I kind of want to keep this for myself, but I'm not going to. Um, but it would be really cute on someone who's more petite if you just like belted it. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that shape, that 50s shape. Yes, 
Love that. It doesn't have any tags in it. I would say it's either a medium or a large just looking at it. Next up is a, another nightgown. You guys know I'm loving vintage lingerie right now. It is also very on trend and flying out of my closet. So if you come across some really unique vintage lingerie pieces, definitely pick them up. So you might recognize this. I actually hauled a nightgown that looked very similar to this. I think it was probably donated by the same person. This is just the blue version. And how I styled the pink one is I just belted it and then it just makes it look, I don't know, it's very prairie, it's very feminine. I learned this new keyword. It's called cottage core. I don't know if you guys have seen that. People use that keyword, but that's what they're describing things like this as. Things that are very dainty, have a lot of lace, that look very like prairie peasant style. A lot of people are starting to use the keyword cottage core. So that's a fun little fact if you wanna put that in your listing. I've added that keyword to a lot of my um, listings that are in this style and I feel like it's gotten them a lot more exposure. So go ahead and use that keyword. Anyways, I like picking up this style because this style is very on trend and it's easy to style these little slip dresses. This one is a size small. So last dress is this one and I just love this waist like it is just so ugh, it's so form-fitting it's so flattering I just and it's so like a scallop I love a good scallop it's just so pretty and dainty and again just makes you feel like a lady these sleeves are amazing obviously puff sleeves are very on trend so look out for puff sleeves but that waist I mean come on it's just so pretty it makes you want to skip around a field and just sing songs <laughs> There is, however, one thing wrong with this. It is missing a button right here in the back. So I don't know if I'm just going to sell it as is and let the buyer deal with that or if I'm going to put just a regular button. The problem is, is that it's got these little fabric buttons that match the pattern of the dress. So if I just put a regular button there, it's kind of going to stick out. But is it better than not fixing it? Let me know down below what you would do. Would you just sell it as is? Would you put a regular button on it? What do I do? Help. <laughs> but this dress was just too pretty to pass up. I love the shape of it. It's just so, so good. It is a size 12. It does say it's a petite size. I tried it on and I'm usually a medium large and it fit me perfectly. So I would say it's about a modern day medium large. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have another loud, obnoxious kimono. <laughs> I love kimonos. I am loving kimonos right now. I don't know why. My sister actually found this one and I just think it's beautiful. Oh, yum. This is technically a robe. It is very silky satin material. Great for summer though. Um, but it's just, it's super cute. And with like a plain t-shirt, come on. This thing is beautiful. Yes. Love it. This is a size. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It doesn't have a size tag in it. I would say it's probably a large, extra large, um, but it could fit. I mean, it's a kimono. It could fit most people. Um, it's like a one size fits most situation. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty. So that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Wednesday and Friday, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye guys.